RMGT for having me here today. And then uh, most of us who've been to Graph Expos, it's always nice to see real iron on the floor. There's not much of it left these days, but it's good to see a, a real live offset press. So I commend uh, Ryobi for that. Um, I'm going to start with the introductions from the farthest away, and excuse my mic for popping. Um, but on the, on the far left of, of my left, we have Ty and Kyle Blankenship. And uh, they're, they're brothers who run an operation out of Phoenix, Arizona called WholesalePocketFolders.com. It's a trade printing shop. And uh, we're going to hear a little bit more about their operation in a moment. Uh, next to them is uh, Jimmy Lakdawalla. Jimmy, did I pronounce that right? And Jimmy is uh, with an ad agency who also handles print and mail. Uh, the agency is about 30 years old out of San Diego. And uh, he's been doing printing for about 10 years or so. Um, and then right next to me is Mike Mamoudi. And Mike is uh, with another trade printer, printer called Nino, Nino Press. Nino Press. Nino, Nino Press uh, in the Silicon Valley. And it's a startup uh, that's only a couple of years old. Um, I'm um, it has a very fast turn time. It's easy to change the plates. Uh, the paper feeding is good, so our operation is really fast. We do a lot of short runs, and that's the key for us to be able to change plates from one job to another job. So it just it helped us to grow because we could put more jobs during the day versus other presses. And Mike, you're running the, the nine series, is that correct? Yes, five color, nine twins. Five color, and um, tell us tell us a little bit about your your. Um, your applications, what kinds of jobs, when you say short runs, what type of work is it? Uh, we do a lot of booklets, and those are, we are in Silicon Valley, so there's a lot of uh, high-tech companies there, and the jobs come in every day, it has to be out the next day. So we have to run overnight, get jobs done for them, so our turnaround time is like 24 hours. And that's a challenge, I mean, if you have a slow machine, it's hard to change your place, that's going to slow you down. But with this technology, we are really quick. We get jobs in and out quickly. We run probably 10, 15 jobs a day on the press, long runs as well. So it helps us to grow our business. So first and foremost, the biggest challenge was that I was never a manufacturer. I was a, 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 an ad agency first and then got into digital printing and then lastly into offset and most uh, companies are doing it the opposite way. They're uh, offset, then digital, and then marketing services provider. So we'd never done any manufacturing when I first bought it in 2006, one of the first 750, uh, 700 series in California. And uh, it's been the most reliable piece of equipment in our shop. And uh, it's. Uh, I think I looked at all of the different manufacturers, but what I'm happiest about is the fact that it's been a real partnership with Real B, uh, RMJT, and and uh, our uh, supplier, Print and Finishing Solutions. So, um, right now, I think we have probably 120 million impressions, and you can eat off the press right now. It's probably in the same condition as when I bought it in 2006, and it's been our first and only offset press, and we weren't printers, so. It had to be something that didn't give me a lot of headaches. Now I have good people. I have the same lead pressman. I have the same production manager. I have the same bindery manager as I've had for the last almost 10 years. But uh, but it's been it's been a uh, no regrets whatsoever. In nine years, I, I I can't recall a single time where a client has ever complained about quality. Um, we've used, we have the long uh, uh, delivery and, and the aqueous coating, a five color press, and uh, so and we've done you know heavy solids and and again really high end agency work where we have very finicky designers coming and uh, press checking, and it's uh, you know it's if it can if it can pass that test it can pass any test for us. Um, when it comes to, you know, uh, a certain run length that may go one way or the other, uh, a lot of times we push it to to offset, um, and uh, you know, it still has the the inks that don't scratch in in um, 
in the mail, uh, aqueous coating. Um, it's 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 always the the, prep, the preferred choice. We knew that we wanted to get in the online game as uh, digital kept getting better and better and as Gang Run got bigger and bigger we wanted to get into a game where the digital guys didn't want to really uh, mess with it and Gang Run, well, it fills up an entire sheet so we decided to go into pocket folders. It's the dry time which is huge for us. Everyone wants everything yesterday and uh, LED UV just allows us to take it for us right off the press over to a guillotine cutter. We usually print two up, so we dice it in half, goes right into uh, a cylinder press to get die cut, scored, and then it goes back over to the cutter. We trim it out basically, get it all ready to go, and then it goes right onto a uh, mold folder gluer. So that is really, really big for us because, you know, we've had the phone call from the guy in Las Vegas who needs something yesterday, and we've been able to turn jobs, a full thousand pocket full or run four over four in less than two hours. Uh, you would think that someone like us can't compete, but the reason that is is because of this equipment. And I, I do believe that, and uh, we can do it cheaper than they can do it.